Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm recording again. So, Destiny. Uh, by the way, uh, shall this uh, this thing where Destiny escapes and uh, and ends up on Arceus and whatnot, uh, shall this be part of the uh, Trials chapter or will this be uh, a whole other thing? Um, the jump between Destiny escaping and her arriving on our chaos has always been pretty brief in any stories I've told of it. Like, she gets on the shuttle, she escapes, and then the next thing you know, she's in a bar in our chaos. So... Our chaos what? Ah. On our chaos, on our chaos four, and the uh, in probably New Haven or somewhere like that. You know, one of the towns we visited. Um, so yeah, I haven't really given it much thought to be honest with you. I just <laughs> sort of go from one location to another. I think <laughs> when I come to writing this in Taking Flight, I've already done the transit with Corian Trouble and also Nux and Chaos at uh, another point in the book. So. I didn't want to dwell too much on the the transit of destiny, as it were. Uh, um. I don't care about the transit right now. What I mean is, uh, right now the the short story that we have about mm -hmm. her trials uh, is the part where she escapes and takes the shuttle or whatever. Is that part of this story or is that the next one? We should make it part of this one. Oh, the okay. Existing one. Because I couldn't make, I don't think I could make a new chapter of her getting the shuttle and escaping. I think that tags nicely onto the end. Uh, I am not sure I agree, because okay. uh, because the trials itself is pretty, like it's pretty intense uh, stuff. You you have a lot of lot of stuff happening, and it all leads up to the point where. Uh, where she makes it and she makes it out of the cave or, or whatever so so basically the uh, the chapter or the story culminates with her unlocking uh, the the ability mm -hmm. abilities okay the quote-unquote quantum blood and uh, I would stop it there and then I would uh, uh, I would start or like I would make it so that the next bit from her point of view uh, the meat of the next bit is already on Archaeos 4 and uh, and the shuttle and escape is kind of like a short uh, one short scene before she uh, before she gets to our chaos. Okay. And whether and whether it happens chronologically or whether uh, whether the shuttle escape is like uh, like a little flashback while she's already on our chaos. That's 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 up to debate. Hmm. Because uh, you could do it the way that we did uh, the jewel in the port thing. It's like we state that she is in the port and waiting in quarantine. And then summarize what she did to get there. Yeah. But also it's kind of relevant how she gets there. I mean, I mean, not uh, not tracing her steps in real time, but the fact that uh, that she uh, that she does something to uh, uh, to gain control of the shuttle, and also that it's kind of suspicious. It's like she shouldn't be able to do that, or like I I, th I think I think we should call it out right away that. Uh, her success of uh, uh, of taking over the shuttle is somebody else's plan. Mm -hmm. It's like right on schedule. Oh, she's so predictable. <laughs> or like 
Yes, this is going nicely. Follow your path, child. <laughs> or or wh whatever. I don't know mm -hmm. how they how they talk. <laughs> the committee. <laughs> this is going exactly as planned. Right. This is going well. <laughs> We're ahead of the schedule, in fact. Hmm. She is strong. Are you not worried that she is too strong? Oh, hush. She has no <laughs> skills. <laughs> Hi, ahead of schedule. Yeah. Alright, cool. I'll just tag that one to the last few notes. Aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Destiny's a cool character. I do like her. She doesn't get enough right in time, though. <laughs> All my all my focus goes on Lunar and Rogue, which is a bit selfish of me. <laughs> Sorry, Destiny. Sorry, Desto. <laughs> oh, uh, now, cool character, what about uh, what about the uh, the job that she takes, or like the the job that brings uh, her and Risto together? What's the, the deal guy, with that? The guy who approaches her in the bar. Uh, he works for Zhao, he's recruiting people on behalf of Zhao and he notices a reclaimer which is, I don't know, I've always kind of thought it's a bit out of place like Luna and Rogue are meant to be these extra special exiles, right? and uh, you don't see many reclaimers just wandering about freely but apparently Destiny can, so that's why this guy approaches her and is like, hey, you want to do a job for us? It pays well and she needs money to survive in her new escaped life so she she does the whole jewel thing you know when jewel t is given the folder and she doesn't say a word to the guy and then the guy leaves she kind of does the same thing like he approaches her tells her to go somewhere in the morning if she needs a job and then he leaves so we i might be i might be flogging that horse a bit much you know yeah <laughs> uh, also what's uh, what's the deal with the guy who recruits everybody so if that guy who recruits people to do a convoy or whatever if his goal is to rob the thing that uh, that he's supposed to protect then yeah, that's not his goal he's loyal to Zhao this guy oh okay then uh, but th then even more so why is he uh, why would he expect complete strangers to be loyal so either way, so if this guy was the guy behind the robbery, why would he expect that complete strangers from out of town uh, will be will be uh, sympathetic to his cause? And if his goal is to protect the convoy, then why would he entrust this uh, to complete strangers from out of town? Mm. This does yeah. not make any sense at all. Well, this is good because we're analysing it now. Yeah. And we can figure it out. So, I mean, if the recruiting was done by the guy who intends to... Uh, who intends to uh, rob the convoy that he is supposed to be protecting, then it would make a little bit more sense because if he would... If... if uh, if the idea would be to put together a team who isn't practiced together, so like get get random mercenaries and get the uh, regular guards out of the way and just to have people who don't know each other and who don't who haven't got the experience of working together then and and who are also expendable and it's like it's it's not that she's a reclaimer this guy might not know what a reclaimer is <laughs> but it's like oh you look desperate so looking for a job i might have something for you pays well yo mm -hmm. so their gamble might be that okay if these people if these random people they are recruiting uh will uh will hear them out or like may maybe they maybe they uh they will be 
okay with the uh, with the robbery, in which case hooray, but they are also expendable, so if they are not on board with the robbery, then uh, just get rid of them and be done with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think Destiny is pretty smart though, right? So she probably realizes what's going on and she realizes Yeah, so so basically if if she's if she's given the mission details, uh she should she would be able to see that something's not right here. It's like she could call out exactly the same thing like if uh, if we are about to protect a delivery through uh, some uh, hazardous uh, turf then how come half of these people how come we have a crew half of the people are the crew who has worked together for a long time and half of the people have never seen each other so it's like, uh, I mean, th this is something that I would uh, I would question immediately. The uh, the crew selection principles, like how come these people da 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 and these people da da da, if the goal is da da da. Oh, mate, I'm writing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> So it's like she can uh, even even if she doesn't know what's uh, what exactly is wrong with the job, she she picks up the idea that something is wrong. But uh, she will also decide to go along with it anyway, because reasons. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like let's see where this leads us. Goes along with it. Let's see where this leads us. Nice. Yeah, and it could be that she herself is also giving in to certain fatalism. It's like uh she doesn't want to follow the path that uh, that somebody has has told her she should be following and she's she's trying to amp up the randomness maybe so it's almost almost like uh she's uh she's choosing to get in trouble uh, on purpose. <laughs> like this, this job seems like trouble. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, could it be that uh, she vocalizes those suspicions to Risto? It's like they they will meet <laughs> on the job and they will notice the other guys. So it's like it's it, it's uh, let's say it's the day of the mission. Uh, people are gathering and and uh, and uh, she maybe bonds with Risto and mm -hmm. let's just assume that he talks at this point I think I don't know uh, okay I haven't got that written in it he doesn't talk uh, he offers her a cigarette but she rejects it but still sits and talks with him um, uh, any, well she anyway, talks to him yeah anyway <laughs> anyway they communicate <laughs> So mm -hmm. let's let's say let's say they sort of uh, uh, they sort of uh, immediately bond and communicate and uh, and then Destiny will do the talking and Risto will do the nodding. So yep. so it's like uh, you notice anything uh, anything peculiar about the okay so uh, you're new here me too notice anything and uh, they look around and and it's like hmm yeah. Uh, so about this mission, 
and then they observe the people and it's like hmm notice anything peculiar about this about this crew see those guys there they pretend they don't that they don't know each other but their moves are synchronized or like they <laughs> they they move as a unit whereas these other guys here i suppose they are like us and at this point uh, Risto could be using some signals to uh to indicate the same thing and and she will vocalize it for the reader so basically mm -hmm. they notice that uh, that's that some of the crew are strangers and some of the crew uh, know each other uh, very well and uh, and she's like yeah what could possibly go wrong or like <laughs> let's let's better keep an eye on these people etc so so basically they they would bond in the beginning uh, they will share their observations that some something's up and uh, and they would decide to stick to the mission that was that that's mm -hmm. that's the explicitly given mission not the secret mission okay hold that thought for a second mm -hmm. uh, Decide to stick to original mission. Uh, this is another thing I wanted to say that Destiny's not thick, right? She, whatever this guy's scheming, there's probably someone bigger than him mm. who's running the actual mission, and mm. she, she's thinking, oh, it's probably best I don't get on that guy's bad side. Like these guys are pups, but I probably don't want to get on the big boss's bad side or something to that effect you know um like she's not she's not looking to make enemies here why did she take the job then she's looking for trouble yeah but looking you know looking for trouble and not making any enemies kind of contradict oh <laughs> well she's okay well the the one goal I'm aiming for is well actually when Re when Risto and Destiny escape and manage to get away from the convoy, Zhao or a representative gets in touch with them via vid screen in the vehicle, and Destiny is completely against the idea of going to see him. She's like, no, fuck this, this is a joke. Like, what have I got involved in here? And uh, Risto ends up calming her down and convincing her that hey, this is we don't want to piss this guy off basically mm. so that this, was the old story yeah this old doesn't story. sound <laughs> this doesn't sound convincing at all okay so we need to <laughs> rectify yeah but that was the that was the old story so <laughs> yeah it's like since they have chosen to protect the convoy and do the job they were uh, on paper hired for why would they not uh, turn in the cargo for the guy who they are supposedly working for? So it's more like. Uh, oh no no no! They don't. They haven't got the cargo. They just escaped with their lives and one of the vehicles, but they haven't got any cargo on board. It's just like a car or something, you know. Huh. But uh, change it then. Change it so that uh, that they choose to, or or well either way. Uh, lose the video screen and lose the uh -huh. lose the let's not talk to him it's more like uh, let's say whether with the cargo or without the cargo when they reach some safe point somebody approaches them and says uh, well done and, oh. and, and maybe like uh, don't worry about the cargo it was bogus anyway we just wanted to test the crew or whatever so so uh, so basically this would be uh, make it so that this was about something else and they chose the right side I love this <laughs> and they chose the right Nice. 
<laughs> That's going to annoy Destiny a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, give me a minute to uh, roll up this. Oh, I'm running out of cardboard resource, so I'm having to dig into <laughs> cigarette packets and all sorts of nonsense. Yeah, nice, nice work, Law. This is uh, on point. And the nice thing is, it keeps the essence of the original story, right? Mm -hmm. There's, there's the whole Destiny and Reese don't meet. That's this, this is what I mean when there are like beats of the story that mm -hmm. I want to hit. When yeah. at the end of Split Personality Two, for example, they end up on Rice Star to take that job. That that is a beat I know I want to hit, and it's the mm -hmm. same with Destiny and Reese don't meet. And it's like I want that to be a thing, and I want them to get involved in this and end up, you know, interacting with Xiao and ultimately ending up with the Alexis. And London, uh, later on, London... Well, if the cargo is bogus, London no longer needs to join the team because his whole deal was he was going to go with the Alexis, Destiny and Risto to, to retrieve it and he was going to inspect the cargo and make sure everything was okay and ready for transport and that kind of deal after the Alexis crew had cleared the where they, wherever it was being stored. So I can get I can well, get rid of they that can, now. They can still well if needed they can still go and retrieve the the real cargo. Hmm. That would be nice because I do like London as a character. He's a bit Saris Lynn. I need to dis distinguish the two of them. But London Chorley is, you know, he's a cool character. He's like Lennis in a way. He's one of them, you know. <laughs> uh, you sort of feel sorry for him a little bit. Um, but yeah, London's cool. So, uh, if if we don't include it, I've got no real... I'd have to come up with a new reason why Destiny and Risto were put with the Alexis team by Zhao. Like, that would have to be, like, a Servo Prime thing or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather there be a reason, just mm -hmm. rather than Puppet Hand guiding mm -hmm. them. Yeah, the Puppet Hand can only uh, excuse so much. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I will make another recording break here, just in okay. case, because so much, so much, so many <laughs> things got said. Boop.